What's going on everyone? My name is Skiz. Welcome back to a rare nowadays episode of our graffiti freight train washing series where we take a look at all the graffiti artwork, everything there is to see on these sort of moving art galleries that I have here behind me. And it's an opportunity for, you know, those of you who are smart enough to be here and actually look at this stuff to be inspired by it and uh, just spend a chill day in the yard without actually having to leave your own home. I'm going to get right into this. I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but we have a wild pheasant or turkey friend up that away somewhere. Mr. Turkey or Miss Turkey decided to come out and see the freights with us today. Now this is actually a line we have seen before, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but I will give you the opportunity to see it while I explain to you what this series is for those of you who are new to it. Basically, it's a series where we come take a look at the tags, the throws, the pieces on these freight trains and, you know, take it all in. Like I said, get inspired a little bit and also learn from it and discuss it technically a little bit as well. I've got more stuff to say about some of the things we'll see more than others, but really it's a great opportunity to, to chill out and just uh, take it all in. We are starting off big here, guys. If I can say one thing about um, the pieces here, as well as the one we're gonna look at next after I get in here and show you this Bever tag, because that is just, because we can't miss stuff like that. But what I'll say about the pieces on the last freight and this one, these color combinations all it is is the the contrast and what i can outline here with this piece is just you have such a dark or low value color with a very high value outline there that's really all it is whatever color combination you choose just make sure that the values are different enough or if to use less of a technical term the brightness of the colors is different enough that the outline is going to stand out from the fill in and same with highlights of course too or low lights if you're going to do that so quote of the day it's all contrast we have more bonzo here Bonzo is up all over the place here. Every single piece that he has on display here on these freights, you can learn something different from as well. The main thing that sticks out to me about this one is just how well he's managed the negative space in it. What I mean by that is it's okay to have little bits of negative space like there, 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 but they're all relatively close to the same size and they're relatively evenly spaced out. So just like how he's spaced out the sort of lighter purple and the darker purple to diversify the fill in there, physically he spaced them out, right? They're all about equal distance from each other, equidistant, I guess. These little bits, there are some of them, but they're all roughly the same size, just like those purple dots, and they're all roughly equidistant from each other. And it's that kind of thing that shows why Bonzo is married to this lifestyle. He's so damn good at it. Oh my God. I don't know if this can be true, but if it's 06, that's incredible. Wow. I mean, it looks old. Shout out to Deft. Got a 2021 by Rizzo. And it's like I it was trying to outline before. The fill-in is done mainly in sort of mid-tones here. And that, that allows you to use the white as an outline color and the black as a sort of low light. This 
this episode might be a slightly shorter than normal episode, even though they are usually uh, fairly quick here, but that leads to my question of the day for you guys, and I just want to ask you guys, how long do you prefer these episodes to be? Do you like it when they're sort of quick snippets, uh, where I really highlight a few super awesome pieces like this, or do you like it where they're sort of longer, 15, 20 minute type deals? Just leave it in the comments, let me know. I'd say it's fitting that we're finishing off with this piece here just because it is such a top-notch piece that you're looking at right here. You could do worse than pausing the video and just taking a look at this piece. Let me tell you that. It's a shame that it's real uh, messed up right there, but it is what it is. So with that being said, I'll leave this one right here, but we have plenty more episodes of our Graffiti Freight Train Washing series on the channel. I'll link it to the entire Season 2 playlist right now. I think this is episode like 7 or 8 of Season 2 of the Freight Watching. If you're enjoying it, you know, let me know with a like, and that lets me know to make a few more of these. I know it's a bit of a rare series nowadays on the channel. Next episode, we're going to head around to the other side, take a look at what is on there. I hope we'll see you in another episode soon. Until then, peace.